Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I will show you steps on how to restore a sunroom. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content. Let's get right into it. Out here in San Diego, California, working on this sunroom right here. These ones uh, tend to leak because of the seams. Usually these are put on in panels. You see there's a panel from here to here. And they seal the seams. And then they just put regular coating on it this even though it doesn't look like too much it creates leaks the sealant shrinks and it starts to flake this happens with sealant that's why it's really good to always do some maintenance on your roof regardless of if it's a sunroom or not tools you will need are is a blower wire brush you also might need a small wire brush for the corners, extendable roll, roller poles with the frames and the skins so to put down the coating. Paint brushes to put down the seam sealer. This is the seam sealer that we're going to install. So this is the 9400. So this will go on the seams, any penetrations, and this will help make the roof last long. A lot of people just put the coating, but if you don't put the seam sealer, then it's going to be hard. For it to last pretty long so this is going to basically put a whole roof a whole new roof system on on this sunroof and this is the last thing that's going to be put on this is the 924 eterna seal uh, coating and this will go on after the seam sealer since it is just a deck you won't need uh, to put any 996 which is a bleed block it's um but you would just put this first wait two to four hours for it to cure and then after that this is cured you could put this on and then it'll be a whole membrane what we're doing right now is prepping the deck wire brushing it so if you pressure wash it you have to have at least 24 hours for it to dry so we're doing the wire brush method and then we're gonna put the seam sealer we're gonna do this to the whole entire deck so the product that we're gonna put on sticks better. We're going to blow it using a blower. Just clean the whole deck right now. This is how it looks. Uh, so we're going to start putting down the silicone. So what we do is we get this silicone right here, the seam sealer, and then we just uh, go over on the seams like right here. So it'll be like a seamless system. You go all the nuts and crannies right here. You go all the way around on each of the seams. So you see right here. Okay, hold up. I don't want to get too far in the video without talking about reinforcement. Now reinforcement is good because it allows for expanding and contracting of the sealant. If you don't put reinforcement into your sealant, the sealant will crack or open up again. So what we do is we put a base layer of silicone and then we put reinforcement in between embed this into the base layer of silicone and then put another layer of silicone on top of the mesh so it becomes sandwiched like this so silicone mesh top coat questions in the comment section for all my roofers out there for reinforcement do you guys prefer to use the fiberglass mesh or do you guys like to use the polyester fabric i used to use a lot of the polyester however Sometimes I would get a polyester roll that wouldn't bleed through and I didn't really like that. So I've been leaning more towards the fiberglass mesh because as you can see right here, it's very see-through so sealant will go through and I feel like it reinforces the, the sealant a lot better. As opposed to this, I mean, you could barely see through it and I didn't like how some of the sealants wouldn't bleed through. Let me know in the comments below Let's get back to the video. Here, I uh, did all the seams. Now it's time to put the coating on. So what we're gonna do here is, uh, we're gonna measure 10, a 10 by 10 area, and then we're gonna do it at 1.5 gallons per square, which is equivalent to um, six quarts. So you're gonna, I'm gonna do a bucket of five, and then probably just one of these, uh, and then just do like a cross pattern, one going this way, and then one going this way, we got right there. We do a crisscross pattern. That way we can get it in every neck and cranny. But that's how we get our 1.5 gallons per square. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So this is the crisscross. 
exhaust pattern that we're supposed to go in so it goes evenly throughout this square right here and then we do this a couple times one going left and right one going up and down all the way through so it's all evenly spread out throughout the roof so finish the silicone roof this is how it looks after it's done everything has been applied evenly you can see it so no seams Thank you guys so much for watching and if you do like this content please give it a like or subscribe if you need any sunrooms to get restored go in the description below you'll find our roofing company zenith roofing services located in escondido north county san diego thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video